Welcome and congratulations on your Strideway purchase. This video is intended to get you started with your Strideway system. We will cover the following topics. This Strideway system contains four sensor tiles and two end caps. The USB cord that connects your computer and the Strideway, the power cord and adapter that will connect the Strideway to your power supply, a durable water resistant cover, and a getting started document. This video will demonstrate how to properly set up your Strideway system and it will include checkpoints in the process to allow the user to be assured that the system is operating as expected. First, lay each sensor tile next to each other approximately two inches apart with the hardware sections facing the same direction. Next, add the end caps to the opposite ends. Prior to connecting sensors and end caps, verify that all the metal connecting latches are pulled back. This will prevent them from getting caught during the connection process. When connecting the sensors together, first pull the connection tab and insert the male end into the female port of the opposite sensor. Then put the sensors together and latch both ends. Latch the end caps. Now that we have the sensors and end caps secured, identify the primary connection sensor. To do this, stand facing the sensors so that the black hardware is directly in front of you and furthest from your feet. The sensor that is most to the left of you is the primary sensor and will be where you connect your USB and power supply to your strideway as shown. Finally, connect the opposite ends to your computer and your wall outlet. To verify the sensors are active, launch your software. Close your patient list, click new recording, and close your parameter prompt. Once you do this, verify that you have two green lights on each sensor, one solid green and one flashing green. Next, roll the strideway cover over the sensor as shown. Verify the gray branded section covers the black hardware of the sensors and that the sensor cover edges are lined up evenly. Now your setup is complete. We will set acquisition parameters. This allows the user to control how long the recording will last before automatically stopping. In addition, the frequency and the ability to group a recording. To set, click Options, Acquisition Parameters. Once in the Data Acquisition Parameters window, you can adjust the duration or frequency as necessary. In addition, best practice is to have group recordings active. To confirm, click Enable Movie Trigger and then click Movie Trigger button. Verify the check mark is present in the Enable Group Recordings field. Click OK. Click Patience icon on the toolbar. Then choose New Patient. Fill in the patient record information. Click OK. Now click New Recording icon on the toolbar. Close the time prompt and click OK on the prompt to have the subject walk over the strideway.
Textian provides three sensitivity files in your software. This allows the user to maximize the sensor specific to the individual that is tested. To do this, click Tools, and then select Pressure Sensitivity. This is a trial and error process. You'll be recording the subject walking over the sensor. The goal is for the highest color during the walking process not to exceed yellow. If it does, then you would want to load the next file and repeat until yellow is the highest color. In this demonstration, I will add the load high sensitivity first. Click record and have the subject walk across the strideway. Stop the recording once they completed their pass. Click peak pressure. This will allow you to see the highest forces generated during their pass. Again, the goal is to get as close to yellow in color without exceeding it. In this case, the highest color is light blue, and that was with the load high sensitivity. Close. Do not save. Next, we will open up a new recording window. Click Tools, select Pressure Sensitivity, and import the next sensitivity level of load medium. Click Record, and have the subject walk across the strideway. Stop the recording once they completed their pass. Again, click Peak Pressure. This will allow you to see the highest forces generated during their pass over the strideway. In this example, we see that we exceed the yellow color and show orange and red forces. This is too high of a sensitivity. So we can close this window, do not save, and go back and import the load high sensitivity as our primary setting. Again, make sure we have a real-time recording window displayed. Then, for training purposes, I will adjust the screen to make it easier to watch the calibration process. Click Tools, Calibration. The real-time window will thinly outline each sensor on your recording window with a color that correlates to the calibration tile radials within the calibration window. Each sensor has to be calibrated individually. To do this, click the sensor radial that you will calibrate first. In this case, the sensor most right is red and the red radial is already clicked. Now click step calibration, which is our most accurate calibration. Add the subject's weight to the subject weight field. When your patient is ready, you will hit start. A time bar will pop up, and the first third is dedicated to having zero force on the sensor. The last two thirds require you to have your subject stand on one foot on the sensor with minimal movement as possible. The first demonstration shows what happens if there's too much movement during the process. In this case, you can click OK and then redo the calibration process. If the process is performed properly, it will state that the step calibration was successful. Then press OK to apply. Next, click the next tile in the calibration window and have the patient perform the same process on the correlated tile. Once all the tiles are calibrated and the word tile in the calibration window 
all display capitalized letters, then click OK to apply. Have your subject walk over the system. The real-time window will now say Step in the lower left-hand corner, and the force profiles should display vibrant colors as they walk over the strideway. Finally, to record a scan, press the record button and have your subject perform the activity over the strideway system. Once they complete the activity, stop the recording by hitting the stop button on the toolbar. Or just allow them to continue to pass on the sensor until the frames expire. In this case, there are 321 frames of 750 used when I manually stop the recording. Now that you've completed the basic setup of your Strideway system, contact the TechScan training team with any further questions. Thank you.